morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies, gentlemen, and those who are neither wherever you are in the world. I'm Ramblin' Rusty Elm, and you're watching Ramblin' with Rusty, Starfield Edition. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're off to go talk to the uh, ship guy out here, technician. See if he knows where Hank disappeared to. Hey, anything I can help you with? Yeah, I'm looking for information on Hank. For... Mm, let's see here. Hank. Hank. No one by that name. Oh, wait. Here we go. Henry Farrell. Hank's got to be his nickname. <laughs> yeah, he's been through here. Took his ship and departed. Actually, it looks like he came back into Mars space recently. But he didn't land here at the spaceport. The ship diverted and landed outside the city of ways. Well, that's, uh, suspicious. Uh, Nothing out of the ordinary. Got a ship and left. Tried and failed to get a discount on fueling up. Mm, that's about it. Uh, I've been doing this job for years, and yeah. I can't think of many reasons someone would come in for landing, but divert somewhere else. I've seen people try to offload some sort of contraband that way, but usually they don't do a flyby of the port before doing so, and scans would have picked it up, so I don't know. You're going to have to ask him yourself, if you manage to track him down, that is. Okay, thanks. That's yeah, the best something thing. seems off about this. You're probably right that you need to work this out with your boss. Maybe some wires got crossed. Anyway, oh, good I luck and that. good day to you. Thank you, sir. I think I'm going to use this uh, coist gear for a minute. Okay. I doubt you need to bring all of that. All of what? I just uploaded it. I hope I didn't make a mistake by letting Hank go. I wonder what's oh. taking Hank so long. Mm, that's a little suspicious. Why would he do that? The services said he returned, Moreover, but didn't land why here. wouldn't he return with the goods? Something's definitely up. I asked around while you were gone. Some of his co-workers mentioned there's been a little extra, well, Hank lately. In particular, he was cursing up a storm about work and about his co-workers. Said some things that make me think his intentions here were not pure. Anyway, he's not too bright. Maybe he's still here in Sidonia. Check the broken spear. He frequently goes there to drink. We need to get to the bottom of this. Okay. Well, I'll try and find him. What, what would he do uh, with know. the equipment? Hank's kind of a weird guy. He never fit in with the team. Tended to act a little sketchy. Always figured he'd be done after one contract. Guy like Hank? Maybe he's just looking to sell it on the black market and earn an extra paycheck. Can't say for sure. Mm. Well, see if you can get guilty. him to admit it first. And if he does, see if you can get it back from him. If he resists, or otherwise won't tell you what we need to know, then we may have to turn him in. I trust that okay. Sidonia security will bust him good, but he may not tell him where our stuff is. So see if you can at least get that out of him first. All right. Remember, it's most you. important that we find out where the equipment is. We can always and deal with Hank equipment. later. We've got to do it before we lose track of it, before it gets sold, moved, or worse. And we've got to hope to whatever higher power you believe in that it wasn't jettisoned into space. We've got our work cut out for us. Good luck. Only employees of Deimos Staryard. Can't say I'm a fan of excitement and drama around here. Thought we'd struck oil. But it turns out it was just another Got a problem or something? Got some questions for you, Hank. Questions, huh? Let me buy you a beer first. Oh. No. Suit yourself. Uh, anyway, I've seen you talking to Trevor. What's someone like you doing sticking your nose where it doesn't belong? Well... 
Got the crap. I know you took okay. the equipment. You got me. Yeah, I took it. Wanna know why? I had to. Those guys all think I'm some kind of joke. And I'm stuck with this stupid three-year contract. I can't afford to break it. So, screw Deimos. Screw Trevor and all the other miners. Losing that equipment's the last draw for them. Did he tell you that? One last failure in a string of failures to meet quotas. It'll be layoffs for everyone, and I won't owe Deimos a damn credit. Yeah. How could you do that to your co How could I? You do it too if your co-workers never took you seriously. I'm always showing them how much better I am than them. And all they do is yeah. laugh and talk behind my back. They think I don't hear them, but I do. They say I'm a show-off, that I'm not good at what I do. So screw them. This whole planet sucks. Everyone here is a friggin' loser. Well, maybe if you weren't such an entitled ass. Eh. Shit. You're right. Fine. You got me. But you say I take you to the goods and we bring it back. You can even say you found it. Just don't turn me in, alright? Yeah. Yeah. I promise I won't turn you in. I just want the equipment back. That's tr I should tell him that. But I know he wants to try and kill me. I mean, guys like this, they're a dime a dozen. Always willing to stick a knife in other people's back if, uh, as soon as it'll uh, be profitable to them. So, yeah, you should know I'm well-armed and capable of defending myself if you go looking for Relax, trouble. Hotshot. I ain't gonna shoot you in the back, if that's what you're worried about. Just, uh, follow me. We're going outside. Hank, don't get weird on us now. Or weirder. It's not easy living inside down here. Please keep prolonged showers and other waters to a minimum. Do your part to preserve our precious resources. Thank you from the Civilian Department of Public Works. Hello. Come on, Hank. Let's go. And once you get outside Sedonia, there's just, like, nothing around. No one at all. Come on, Hank. Get the fucking lead out so we can get this done. Hey, it's my personal savior. Thanks again for the assist. Walking down the alley instead of around in the open. Man, I'm impressed you figured it all out on your own. I thought I was being real careful. It was so easy, right? Boss man Trevor's so loud sometimes, you know? And I got good hearing, so I overheard you all talking about this equipment. I knew what it meant to everyone, and how screwed they'd all be without it. And then Trevor just lets me go pick it up because he thought I was showing initiative. 
<laughs> it, it really was uh, the perfect plan. Yeah. It wasn't bad, but, you know, it was stupid to come back here. That, that's where you get stupid. You think you're better than everybody else. Smarter. on selling this stuff. What do you think? 500 grand? Cool mill, maybe? But where would I even have sold it? Not like I would have been able to march pallets of mining equipment down to Jane's without anyone noticing. Probably best we're returning it, because what a nightmare that would have been trying to offload it. And trying to destroy it all would have been another huge pain in the ass. It's mostly metal, right? <laughs> what was I thinking? I guess I could have flown somewhere remote and buried it, dump it all in one of the old mines and forget about it. Huh, but then you would have been real screwed, huh? Good thing you found me before I did that. Am I right? Yeah, stop talking, Hank. Smart bet would have been to take it out to one of the uncharted colonies and unaligned colonies and sell it to them. You didn't think of that. You just kind of proves your stupidity. Almost there, all right. I had to park my ship off away so they wouldn't find it right away. <laughs> I'm sure you get it. Seemed like a good idea at the time. Didn't think I'd be going all the way back so soon. At least you won't have to walk all the way back, eh? I mean, you know, maybe we'll take the ship back to port and let someone else unload it, save ourselves the hassle of hauling it all back ourselves. Anyway, sure uh, see it just up ahead? Yeah, this is about the part where he ought to be turning around to try and shoot me in the head. to do this, Hank. No. We got a problem we can't resolve. Namely, you know too much. Eh. Killing me won't save you. Other people suspect you're up to something. You're young and you really no, want to I mean, for his death. You don't need to kill me over this, do you? Trying to tank an entire economy because you're insecure, that's crazy. Well, when you say it like that, maybe you got a point. Damn it. You're right. What the hell am I doing? This is freaking stupid, even for me. This whole idea, I, I barely thought it through. I, I just acted because it seemed like my only shot. I really don't want to hurt anyone. I'm in too deep and I don't know what to do. I know I don't deserve it, but will you help me? Please? Uh, you know... Where'd you even... What? Do? Just because I'm a miner, I can't have nice things? It was my old man's. He gave it to me when he got his new one. It's older and it's got some issues, but I've been trying to fix it up in my spare time. This was my first big test run of it. 
Yeah, that kind of... Yeah. I don't like it, but you might be onto something. If I come clean, maybe it'll go easy on me, especially if you tell them what happened here. Fine, yeah. I'll do it. It's the right thing to do. And hey, at least they'll probably void my contract. Gotta look on the bright side, I guess. Smart move. Easier to course correct before permanent harm is done. I almost made this a million times worse. Thanks for not killing me. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> okay. I can't believe I did this. I'm such an idiot. Yeah. I, I know you probably don't believe me now, but I do. I, I messed up real bad. I was just so angry, you know? But it was a good idea to get back at everyone. But for what? Like, it would have actually shut them down. See? The whole plan was stupid. And even if I had a better plan, what the hell was I thinking? Yeah, that, that's a good question. What were you thinking? So what's my your story, story, Hank? My story is that I don't like people asking what my story is. <laughs> I'm just messing! But really, I, I don't want to talk about myself. Okay. Well, let's get back to... What? You're leaving? Yep, time to get back to Trevor. Yeah, we'll go see. There's a on this view. I'm gonna get this one. Take a look. Okay, turn Hank into security. I need to go through the front door. Alrighty, we've convinced Hank to uh, give the gear back, and we're on our way to turn him in now. Managed to stop him from doing something extremely stupid. Watch out for the robots. Everyone They're surprisingly sneaky. Sergeant Booth at your service. If you have a security-related concern, bring it up to me. Yeah. I saw some people with red eyes. Anything well, it ain't drugs if that's what you're worried about. You'll notice it happens to miners and anyone else that's been down in the red Martian dust too long. Nothing to worry about any more than anyone else around here. Used to be a sign someone was ready for the Red Devils. And some of the ex-Red Devils still think they're a big deal. They ain't as badass as they think they are. And any that do have a chip on their shoulder and cause trouble, well, I'll put them in their place. Yeah, really. So, as much as someone's last name is a nickname, friends, acquaintances, and other locals call me Booth, you can call me Sergeant Booth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, is there a lot of... Not if I've got anything to say about it. For real, though. I don't know if it's because everyone's too busy working, or if it's because of the military presence, but crime's pretty low. We get the occasional drunken brawls, petty thefts and stuff, but Sidonia ain't exactly a hotbed of crime. We're not neon. Hmm. I was supposed to... Don't let me keep you. Thinks I've been pretty quiet around here lately. Usually means someone's up to something. We just haven't found out what yet. Uh, well, it, it's not giving me the option to, uh... Stay out of trouble. Sidonia can have a depressing effect on some people. Make sure to get yourself help before it becomes a problem. We run a tight ship here on Sidonia. Anyone who uh, steps out of line... wait for Hank to show well, up. Well, they learn never to do it again. Hank here is turning himself in for theft of money. It's true. I stole the brand new mining equipment that my boss ordered for us. 
But now that I've had some sense talked into me, I realize how shitty that is. I know it was a dick move, and I'll serve whatever sentence you've got for me. You can confirm this? Yes, sir. You admitted the crime. Get back to supplies. Again, I'm real sorry, but I'll do the time and make things right. It's rare that we get a criminal turning himself in like this. And the fact that there's no real damage to speak of is going to help his case. I'm sure those will both be points in his favor. Good work, and thanks. <laughs> Alright, let's get you booked and locked up. You've already done enough to mess things up for yourself. You don't make it any harder. Yeah, I know. Careful near the railings on the upper levels. It's a long way down. In five, four, three, two, one. Wow, seriously. They need some better It is now safe to resume. Well, chilling out in that cell will give you some time to ponder your life choices. Well, okay. Hopefully that Ferraro guy won't give us any more trouble. Thanks for bringing him in. You're welcome, Luke. Hopefully he will reconsider the stupidity of trying to kill somebody, especially an officer of the law. I mean, really, if he had tried to sell that stuff. I'm looking forward to hearing all about this. He, he probably would have got himself killed by pirates. Any luck? Pacers. Yeah, I heard. Booth left me a message saying that Hank stole the goods, but then he had a change of heart and turned himself in. Crazy. I knew Hank was problematic, but I never suspected he'd do something like this. At least he had the good sense to come clean about it before any damage was done. I'll take it from here and get the equipment sorted out. Here's the credits I promised. I'm also throwing in some ore to repay you for what you got us before, and then some. We'll be able to recoup it in no time with these new tools. Thanks for all your help. We couldn't have done it without you. Well, you are welcome, Trevor. Live where you work. Tired of commuting from distant systems to Sidonia every day? Lux Condominiums has premium apartments available to rent. Whether you need single, double, or family occupancy, Lux has you covered. Inquire today. Okay. So, we now have Trevor dealt with. Hank is in jail where he belongs. Hopefully he'll wisen up while he's there. And now we got to go do the uh, Heart of Mars mission. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to call that an episode. I'm Ramblin' Rusty Elm. Have a good night. And don't forget to stop and smell the roses.